Hey, I'm Rachel and welcome to easy peasy creation of the sage stick. So the first thing that I really would love for you to consider is the sage that you're actually using. And I know that white sage and solo panto are really, really popular for cleansing and clearing and for ritual. But I really invite you to actually consider using sage that is coming from your local area and your garden if that is possible. And the reason I say this is because, like if you're like me in the UK or anywhere around the world, we're bringing these sacred plants that are from often, you know, really sacred traditions all the way across the world, all of those air miles. And it's really important, I think, to be connecting with our local plants and using their essence and their magic uh, rather than the overuse and the machines, you know, all being involved in the production of so much white sage and palo santo to all of these places. So if you can grow your own, I really, really encourage you to do that. And the benefits for you, you get to, with loving intention, harvest and connect in with that plant. So you don't have to use just sage with these sticks, as we're going to find out in a moment, but all the other plants you're really connecting in with your garden and the energetics of that plant. And if you haven't got your own, you know, sage in the garden, you can always ask a neighbour or, you know, go and look at a local community garden or even wild sage that's around as well. You can take as much as you need. So we're not over consuming. You can just take what you need for each time and you can keep going back when you need to make it. So the sage that I'm going to be showing you is stuff that I've grown in my garden. And it's been really wonderful being able to offer that respect and that reverence and asking you know that sage whether it wants to be used <clears throat> when it wants to be taken as well so you're really building this co-creation and this relationship with the sage that you're using which is really really important it helps with the energetics you know you think we're using it for clearing um for clearing space for clearing our space physical space and we want to keep that high vibration so making sure it's really really loved and it's really respected when we're using it so the sage that I'm using, um, like I said, I use it for my garden. It's just really um, wonderful, just normal sage, really, really beautiful. You can see I've got it hanging here as well. And what you want to do is just begin with that kind of that ritual space and that bringing that intention and really connecting in with the sage, asking the sage when it is good for it to be picked, how much wants to be picked and really opening up that communication, involve the plant, you know, in this relationship, in this creation. Um, and then it will tell you how much and we're gonna start by just creating a bundle and you can actually keep them as bundles like this. That is perfectly okay as well. And you don't even have to burn this. So you can invite the essence of the sage to assist you in cleansing a space if you want. And just using it around the room would be really lovely as well. But we're actually going to um, going to take all our sage together like this. So you're going to tie it in a bundle. And I always find this a really good place to start is just tying your sage really, really tight at one end. You can see there. And that just keeps it all together. You're then going to try and keep your sage as tight as you can. As you're binding all the way up and just circling all the way around. And it can be as long or as short as you want. You know, you can't you can't really go wrong with this at all. Just really listening to your intuition. What is right for you and what is right for your intention and what you're creating. So you can add to this. You know, you can add any other plants. If you don't have sage, you can use rosemary. Um, you can use rose petals, you can use lavender, you can use mugwort, anything that you want to add into this, you can. Again, look at the different energetics of each one and really ask the plants, invite them. Who wants to be in my sage stick? <laughs> invite them to the party and see who wants to be involved um, in this. And eventually you're going to bind it so it becomes something like this and looks like this. And then what you want to do, you can trim off the ends to make it nice and neat if you want to. <laughs> Looks like I'm wearing an eye band. <laughs> and then um, you want to tie at the top and you just want to leave it hanging to dry somewhere warm, preferably out of the sun. Um, so you can see I've got mine hanging here behind me as well. So just leave them hanging until it um, becomes nice and dry. And so I want to tie it as tight as possible, just so that. 
we're keeping all of the parts of the sage in here that it's not going to fall apart and drop as it dries. Another thing I really invite you to do as well is if you're not feeling that you want to use a stick is you can just dry um, the sage, you know, just so it's in all these beautiful leaves and you can pin them and put them on those charcoal discs and you can burn it like that instead. Um, so that's a really nice way of doing it and you just drop them in if you've got like a little uh, dish you can put that charcoal dish and just put it on top and then again you're just knowing how much you're using and you can keep that in a jar and really 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 easy so I really encourage you please go and create your own um, yeah make your own <laughs> first second really connect into the plant invite the plant into this creation um, really the energetics of it and yeah and enjoy it and if there's any questions about how to use it or anything else that you want me to elaborate on please just ask below in the comments and also um, subscribe to find out all about all the other things that we're going to create together super excited for that and all of the different things that I'm offering as well check out my website Instagram Facebook you know the drill but all of those things come and join me under the dancing tree which is my school sacred dance and healing thank you so much for watching this I said any questions below otherwise lots of love to you and many sage blessings